<laughs> How's it going guys? So, um, Belto 185. Holy smokes. Um, I don't know if I should be disappointed or excited or... I just don't know. And this is why. The two ladies that I thought that was just gonna go in there and crush and just destroy the, the other two ladies it didn't happen that way okay okay guys this is Anna Juliton for some her first appearance with Bellator and if you guys have seen my like my pre fight prediction for this event okay Anna she is a former two-time bantamweight um, women's boxing champion and she's also a woman super bantam, bantamweight champion and she's competed four times okay all four it was in um one fc but still she, she has competed and lisa bain according to mma junkie this is her first professional fight and of course with my prediction i'm like oh I thought that Anna was just, gonna go, was just gonna go in there, use the boxing, stay out range, or stay out of um, Lisa's range, but stay within her range, so she would um, in inflict damage. And I kind of thought that I kind of thought that she would win. I thought that this was gonna be her her debut. Well, this is her her debut, but essentially her um, her what's what am I looking for, like? her just making a splash in the world of, of MMA, in the world of um, North American MMA. And I thought I thought that Belt were just feeding Lisa Bain to, to, to Anna. But as we know, that is not the case. Holy smokes. Lisa Bain, you know what? I will be honest with you. I don't know who you are, but now I do. I am gonna keep my, I'm gonna keep my eyes out on you. It's just the fact that you beat um, a two-time world boxing champion in your first, according to MMA Junkie, because there's no professional record on you. And I also went to, um, I googled her and I I wiki her and nothing really showed up. So I was like, what the heck? Lisa Bain, I will keep my eye on you. Okay, that's the first one. And the second one, Heather Hardy versus Christina Williams. Okay guys, going through this fight, my thought process, my train of thought, was essentially the same thing. Heather Hardy, she's a former two times, maybe three times, I don't have her, I don't have her record on me, I can't think of her now, it's um, you guys, it's three in the morning, I just got home as well. But however, she is a former decorated boxing champion as well. And this is her second, second fight in, in Bellator, her first was at um, Bellator NYC. And she looks really good. She looks really good. And her opponent was um, Christina, Christina Williams. And going to this fight, she has a record of 0-0. Zero and zero. And I'm like, oh my goodness. This is another person that Bellator, that the Bellator matchmaker, they are going to give it to um, Harry Hardy just to pad her record. But to my surprise, to my surprise, and... <laughs> Wow, Christina Williams, oh my goodness, you are, you look, wow, you look a lot better than expected, both, uh, I don't know what to say, man, I don't know what to say, because, okay guys, it seems like I am so new to Bellator, to Bellator, which I am, it's just the fact that I don't recognize some of these names, but god damn it, man, I mean, Christina, Christina like, where were you, I mean, if there's a way for you to make to make your name in the world of mixed martial arts, you my friend just did it. You just did it. I mean, goddamn. You 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 remind me of um Zach, Zach Freeman when he beat it um. Oh my goodness, who did Zach Freeman beat? I want to look it up, but still like, oh my goodness. And then okay guys. Um, I will tell you guys how my, my prediction did. I did not do well. Well, I got more right than I did wrong, but I was expecting a lot more. Well, m more right anyway. The uh, the two loss with the two ladies, which is 
unexpected and I just cannot find you know forget it I'm not even gonna look for it okay okay well those two fights the two fights with the ladies those were surprised to me it was unexpected congratulations to Kristen Williams and uh, Lisa Bain you came in you did your job good job good job ladies and then we have um, Ryan Quinn versus um, Marcus Seren. Ryan Quinn defeated Marcus Seren unanimous decision. It's um, 29-28, 29-28, and 29-28. Good job, Ryan. Um, if you guys don't know, I picked him for the win as well. So, I thought that this fight was, was okay. It was the last lackluster. I was called for a finish. Unfortunately, it did not happen. But, I, at least I got this pick right. <laughs> and then um, on to the co-main event, we have uh, Namin Gracie defeating Sack Buka Bukai. It's um submission, weird naked choke, round two, two minutes and uh, twenty second, twenty seven, twenty seven second into round two. And on this one, you guys, I, I call um, Namin Gracie for the win as well. But I believe I call it that um, the fight was 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 going to end in round three, but. It ended round two. So I got that one right. So I am two for two. And going to the main card, we have Giga Musasi versus Alexander Ch Chumango. And this fight is not what I expected. I expected um Giga to come in there and just show him, show Alexander that he is at that different level. But however, I thought that this was gonna be a five round fight. It had, it had to be um, a three round fight because for some reason I thought um, the main event in Bellator is five rounds as well so I was mistaken but however during my prediction I believe I called that this fight was going to be was going to end in round three round three um, KO or TKO for uh, for Gigard but that was not the case it was Giga Musasi won with a unanimous decision 29-28, 29-28, and 29-28. And Alexander Ch Ch Chumango, he looks really good. I don't know if... You know what? Yeah, you guys, it is what it is. Like, you know what? I did not um give Alexander enough credit. It's just the fact that I and I was watching the fight, and I gave round one to, uh, to Gigard, and he, he got his back, and he was going to choke him, he was going to smit him. I thought the fight was going to end. And at the back of my mind, I'm like, Alexander, he did lose. He did lose to um, Tiro Ortiz in in Bellator, so that's why I was like, you know, I don't think I don't think he could hang with um with, with Gigard, but he did. He did, and in a way, I was kind of disappointed because, like I said, I was I was calling for a finish, and if um Giga Musasi would like to make his um would like his, would like to make a statement as the next um title challenger. This performance, this this fight, it did not do it, it, in my opinion. Anyway, okay, okay, guys. So quick recap: Lisa Bain defeated Anna Julaton, split decision, 29-28, 29-28. Ryan Quinn defeated Marcus Seren, unanimous unanim, unanim, ah, unanimous decision, 29-28 across the board. Christina Williams defeated Heather Hardy. TKO Dr. Stoppage 2 minutes into round 2 Na Nami Gracie defeated Sack Bukai I'm gonna say Bukai um, uh, Rain ba defe Okay, let's, let's do this again Nami Gracie defeated Sack Bukai uh, in 2 minutes 27 seconds in round 2 with rare naked choke Sorry, neck crank Oh my goodness Okay, with the neck cranked and uh, on to the main event, we have Giga Musasi defeating Alexander Ch Chumango, unanimous decision, 29-28 across the board. And um, on this fight, with my um, pre-fight prediction, I went 3-2. and two. I should have went 5-5, five and five, but I lost with the Heidi Hardy and, and, and the Anna pick. It is what it is. Okay, guys. Um, thank you for listening. This is... Um, the time of my um, location right now it is 3 48 a.m and tomorrow or today is saturday 
and UFC 218 Darren Till vs. Donald Cerrone. It will be showed this afternoon instead of uh, night due to time different. Hopefully it's not tape delay because if it is then I have to wait uh, and then I have to wait till the afternoon. Sorry, then I have to wait till at night. Oh my goodness, I am out of it. Yeah, you guys, I'm, I'm working graveyard at the moment. So yeah, guys, um, thank you for listening. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. If you have not, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell me how, how you did on your pick. Thank you very much for listening. Take care. And I will talk to you soon.